-hmm. If you're currently dealing with muscle knots in your neck, shoulder, or upper back, then you should definitely watch this video. Hey guys, Dr. Wong here with Nick's Low mm -hmm. Physical Therapy. Today, I'm gonna to talk about how to fix muscle knots in your neck and your upper back. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of your muscle knots in your back, neck, and shoulder from the comfort of your own home. The two most common things I recommend for my patients suffering with muscle knots in their back, neck, and shoulder is a tennis ball or a Leva trigger point cane. If you want any of these products, click the link in the description below. So for the first exercise, we're gonna target the muscles on the base of the skull called the suboccipital muscles. When these muscles are knotted up, you might have tension, headaches, or migraines. In order to release these muscles, all you need are your thumbs. The first thing you wanna do is stand up tall and then run your fingers down the back of your head until you feel a ridge. Then run the fingers along both sides until you feel a cave in. Place your thumbs there with a gentle pressure and massage in a clockwise or counterclockwise motion for four rounds of 15 seconds. To take this to the next level, tip your head up toward the ceiling as you massage to get deeper into the muscles. If you have trouble getting your hands around your neck, you can use the Leva trigger point cane to press into the suboccipital muscles, replacing your thumbs as you tip your head back. Hold this for four rounds for 15 seconds. If you're doing this correctly, you might initially feel the soreness increase and then decrease as you hold the pressure on the knot. The next exercise is gonna address a muscle knot on the side of the neck. What you wanna do is use the index and middle finger to massage the knot in a clockwise or counterclockwise motion. As you're doing this, tip your head up and down for 10 round trips. Follow this with side bending your head toward and away from your painful side for another 10 round trips. If you have pain in your fingers, you can use a tennis ball as an alternative to massage a knot. The next group of muscle knots that we're going to target is the neck and the upper back called the trapezius. These muscles can develop knots if you're in a slouch forehead posture for long periods. You can be doing this when driving, looking down to use your cell phone, or staring at a computer screen that's too low. First thing you want to do is stand up tall and find a knot between the neck and the tip of the shoulder. If the knot is on top of the trapezius, use your index and middle fingers and apply medium pressure into it. If you want to take this to the next level, maintain the pressure on a knot and tip your head away and towards the knot for 4 rounds or 15 seconds. Another alternative to get rid of a trapezius muscle knot is to use a tennis ball. Put a tennis ball into a sock or a pillowcase for extra grip. Put the tennis ball on the knot and lean forward into a wall. Keep the arm on the side of the knot as relaxed as possible and hold this for 4 rounds for 15 seconds. If your muscle knot is towards the back of the trapezius, your best bet is to use either a tennis ball or trigger point cane. To take this to the next level, keep the tennis ball pressure and then reach across the body followed by up and down motions throughout the four rounds of 15 seconds. If you don't have access to a wall, you can use a trigger point cane to put pressure into the knot for four rounds of 15 seconds. You can follow this up with maintaining a knot pressure, elevating the arm up and down and reaching across as well. After you release the neck and shoulder muscle knots, you want to strengthen the muscles to make sure the knots doesn't come back. So I have two bonus exercises for you. The first strengthening exercise is a chin tuck. What you're gonna do is make a fist and put it on your collarbone. Then use the fingers of the other hand to push your chin back while you tip your head toward the fist. You should feel the muscles under your chin contract and a neck stretch. Imagine your head is a rotisserie chicken rotating around a spit. Hold this for four rounds for 15 seconds. The second exercise is a T-raise. First thing you want to do is stand up tall, raise both arms up until it's parallel to the floor with palms facing forward. Bring both arms back while pinching the shoulder blades. You should feel the muscles between the shoulder blades contract. Hold this for four rounds of 15 seconds. Now that you know how to get rid of your neck and shoulder knots, let me know which of these exercises work best for you. Also, if you found these videos helpful, please subscribe so you'll miss out on our weekly videos. As always, move better, age stronger, and I'll see you next time.